Hi, this is Anil from Learning Lad Education and welcome to What's the Output video series on C programming language. Here we're gonna give you the C programs and we're gonna ask you to guess the output of the program and then we're gonna run the program and explain the output. So all you need to do is take a look at the source code which is here in the editor and then uh, come up with the output of this program and once you have an answer just uh, play the movie again and I'm gonna explain the output. Alright now I believe that you know you guys have an answer for this program what I'm gonna do is you know I'm gonna build and run this program so build build and run and the answer for this program is gonna be 11 okay that's pretty interesting and why the heck we're gonna get 11 here all right now in this source code first we have this counter variable and we have this for loop and inside this for loop we have initialized our counter variable to a value of 1 and we have the condition as counter less than or equal to 10 and then we have counter plus plus and then we have a semicolon here so here what the compiler thinks is you know this is a for loop without any statements so whatever the code that we have here you know after this for will be considered as just a code block you know you know we can use uh, curly braces and we can form a code block for example you know i can have a code block like this so it is perfectly valid and the c compiler thinks that you know it's just a code block and you know it's gonna think that okay this is a for loop without any statements so what it's gonna do is it's gonna run the for loop you know the counter is gonna start from one and then uh, you know as the condition will be checked one is less than or equal to 10 yes perfect and that's why you know it has nothing to execute you know a for loop with no statements so it's gonna increment the value of the counter variable so counter becomes two and then again the condition is tagged two is less than or equal to 10 yes again no statements to execute so the counter value will be incremented and similarly it happens until the counter variable contains a value of 11 so at that time you know this condition is gonna fail and the for loop execution is gonna stop then the next statements which is in the source code will be executed and that next statement is this code block and here inside this code block we just have a printf statement and we are printing the value of the counter variable and the counter variable now containing a value of 11 and that value will be printed out so we're gonna get the output 11 so here because of the semicolon after the for statement this will be a for loop without any statements so uh, this is it guys thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel check out my website learninglight.com for more tutorials and i'll see you in the next tutorial